Okay, everybody. Um, I was looking at my map to see some, to see where I could do, and I have four: Javix, Trainer, and Garrus. So we're gonna go over to Javix first. Then we're gonna go into the bar to see Garrus, and then we're gonna go over to the castle. Now we can go to the castle first. See Trainer. Then we'll make the we'll make the loop. So, into the arcade. Thank you. Brilliant ending. Excellent use of the Bay Lucian Gambit. Is this space chess? <laughs> it's called Kepesh Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Caesar. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. Specialist. Commander. Kick her ass. <laughs> Roger that. Kick her ass. Disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game. I'd expect the great thinkers to be helping with the Asari war effort. I mean, Earth was taken by surprise, but Thessia... You had all the warning in the world and the Reapers just rolled in. Excuse me, I'm trying to play. You're trash-talking. That's another strategy that doesn't work on the Reapers. It didn't work on the Rachna either. Or the Krogan. Have the Asari ever won a war? <laughs> the Asari have a culture that was exploring space while you were using stone-tipped spears. I think you're supposed to hit the button there when your turn is done. I'm sorry, Tassuza. This might sting a bit. Apologize again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. <laughs> uh, it's always nice to have these little relaxation moments with everybody. Okay, let's head to the bar, I believe. Silver Coast is over here. Wasn't planning on it.
Garrus. Where's my bro? My homie. My boy. Hello. Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? <laughs> I was thinking a date. Excuse me, I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um... Hmm. Hello? <laughs> and... Hmm. Tell her she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but... Decent. Overall. <laughs> oh. Thank you. I think. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably a... <laughs> Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. Come here to unwind. Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this... thing I forgot I had to do, and... I should probably just go do it. Garrus, you are pathetic. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus, and I'd love to have a drink with you. Oh, Garrus. You are hopeless. Where's the exit? I'm gonna go see Javik. Javik's now. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing! You can play yourself! Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted! We have the real Shepard now! Oh. All right, places everyone. Quickly, quickly. Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras. And action. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. Ooh. Yeah, he was in the freezer, right behind the Varen roast. Ah, you die now! Not yet! That line comes later! The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions! <laughs> I believe I've been misinformed about the purpose of this feat. Now then, oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. No. Prothean, no like you. <laughs> Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. 
This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! Oh, jeez. This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed... Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign, Saren, you might have heard of them. Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel, putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Uh-oh. Oh, dear, no like you. This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's Sovereign Half Brother Sluggard! And he's looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double! Your line. Say your line. Oh, he'll die now! Oh no! The Vorta Counselor is indoctrinated! This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in a refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Yeah. Strike the set. Hellcasting will need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. Uh. Terrible. Hello. With the production of Francis Kate's All L4 Hamlet coming to a close, I am now available. Sincere request. If you know any good agents, please send them my way. Tragically, I am dead, Horatio. Wretched queen, adieu. You that look pale and tremble at this chance. That are but news for audience to this act, had I but time. As this fell sergeant, death is strict in his arrest. Oh, I could tell you, but let it be. Tragically, Horatio, I am dead. Thou knowest. Report me at my cause a right to be unsatisfied. Mournfully, oh God, Horatio, what a wound. Standing thus unknown, shall I leave behind me? If thou didst ever hold me in thy heart, absent thee from felicity a while, and in this harsh world draw thy breath in pain to tell my story. Tragically, oh, I die, Horatio. The potent poison quite o'ercrowds my spirit. I cannot live to hear the news from England, but I do prophesy collection lights on Fortinbras. He has my dying voice. So tell him, with the occurrence more and less which have solicited, heartbreakingly, the rest is silent. Informative. With the production of Francis Kidd's All L4 Hamlet. Interesting. That sounded kind of boring, but interesting. Okay, let's head back to the pad and see if we got some more emails. Hey, 
Yay, still got the top score. Sorry, Barlevon. For a full list of quality products, please browse our catalog. I bought everything. Tiberius Towers. Thank you. All work and no play. Uh, now come down to the Citadel. Uh, I want to share something with you. I'm taking a shuttle down to Silver Sun Strip. Uh, figure it'd be nice. Head to the bar, okay. Um, Jack wants to go to the arcade or to the ship. Edie wants to meet me here, and so does Tali Zora. I'll talk to Edie first. Shepard. I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping? I guess we could. Did you have a place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jack has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and quote, live it up like a girly girl. <laughs> huh. You don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. <laughs> we'll get to your own fun sometime, but today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Um. Uh, start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. Buy him a car? Yeah. The 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. <laughs> Five-year warranty? Replacement parts? No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want a rental. <laughs> I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Oh, dear. A ring? Uh, are we getting married? <laughs> no. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Well, that's thoughtful, Edie. But we're not supposed to wear fancy jewelry with the uniform. Some soldiers put rings on the chain of their identification tags. I can do that. One condition, though. I'll give it back to you when we win. No, that seems inappropriate. It doesn't solely represent my hope. It's that of many different planets. It should stay with you. Hmm. I'll take that to heart. Thanks, Edie. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. Oh, dear. Oh, I wanted to get something for Liara. Okay, Tally, come on up.
Hey, got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. You remember that line? From Fleet and Flotilla? Shalai and Bellicus on the balcony? I don't think I've ever seen that. Vid? What? You've never? How could you not have? Well, I know what we're doing tonight. <laughs> oh, jeez. You've watched this a lot, huh? Every time my friends and I had a sleepover. Kila. So many feelings. Yeah, it's, um... Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> when this is done, I'll send you links to extranet sites with some captioned animations. I want you to see behind this mask. I want you to see who I truly am. I already have. She had an infection for Three weeks after filming this scene. Totally worth it. That's it? Okay, let's go back to the... Uh, oh, jeez. I'm having issues with the recording. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. It's a little bit shorter, but it seems like OBS is acting up on me. So I'll see you guys next time.